I couldn't get that to stop then. <laughs> Seven million. Hey guys, it's me, your host Super Sorrow. Thank you very much for tuning in. So tonight is Super Sorrow Live. If, ever, if anyone's new around here and hasn't done a Super Sorrow Live before, it's just where I do uh, chat, answer people in the comments, and usually have something to hand that I'm going to unbox or review. Uh, this week it is the turn of Diamond Select, Lurtz, and Boromir. Now, I know the camera that I use for my webcam here to do live, to do live streams isn't the best, so I will be doing an overview unboxing of these this evening, but don't worry, tomorrow I will post a couple of videos showcasing the figures and all that good stuff just giving them a quick once over for anyone that didn't tune in but a bunch of you have tuned in this evening and i'm grateful for every single every single one of you so let's see who's in the chat with us this evening stuggy was the first one in this evening good evening stuggy i hope you are well oi oi sabaloi <laughs> you're all right andy h how you doing joey b one's in the chat too Good evening, good friend Joey. Uh, figure fan 36. What's up? All right, buddy. Andrew Duncan, thank you for tuning in, dude. Appreciate you. Andy Roberts as well. Centurion's Corner is with us as well. Good evening, Centurion's Corner. Hope you are well. And Ezra Gantos, Todd's World, Sean the Sheeps, Lula Sophie is here with us this evening. I love that name. That's so long and ridiculous, but I love it. How are you doing, buddy? And Mick Spectre as well in the chat. Hope you are good, my friend. Whoa, where's Fluffy Sorrel? This is evil slick Sorrel. <laughs> this is, sorry, this is fresh out the shower Sorrel. So the hair is properly slicked right now because I didn't, I didn't dry it because last time I did, I did my live stream and then I had a shower and then dried my hair and did a live stream. You all called me Fluffy Sorrel because I was fluffy. So the hair dryer is staying away from this bad boy this evening and I've just left it wet and fl flushed to one side. So that'll do for tonight. <laughs> there is no Fluffy Sorrel this evening. <laughs> Uh, Lurtz, getting getting Lurtz quiver belt on is a pain. Don't say that to me. I've got I've got big chunky monkey fingers. I'm not going to be able to do it, am I? <laughs> but yes, um, yeah, we we, we are going to be looking at figures uh, tonight, which means Diamond Select is back on the menu, boys. Very much looking forward to unboxing Boromir and just having him killed off in every review going forward. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, it really is, isn't it? It's crazy. Well, <laughs> we get slick sorrel trending. Please, no. <laughs> Not another emoji I've got to create. And I do just have to say thank you to everyone that is a channel member as well, like Andy H, Mick Spectre, and everyone else as well. Uh, the, uh, Andy Roberts as well, and Andrew Duncan. All the Andys, the Andys, are all light, are all channel members, which is awesome. But yes, guys, all the just welcome to all the channel members that are with us this evening, and thank you all for being channel members. For those of you that aren't channel members, just to give it a quick plug, we have got a good reason to join the channel membership this week. This week marks the first giveaway, and it's a members-only giveaway, and it's for Beta Ray Bill from Diamond Select. The figure has been sent to us free of charge by Diamond Select, so thank you very much, Diamond Select. They have sponsored this this month's giveaway away so thank you diamond and you could be in for a chance of winning this awesome diamond select figure all you've got to do is press the join button down below it is the price of a cup of coffee which is about three quid and basically you join for you can join on that you'll get access to all the membership only videos in the chats you'll get all the emojis and uh, all that good stuff where and, and everyone can see that you're a channel member as well um and if you stick around with us, you'll get to be entered into each month's giveaway. There's going to be a giveaway every single month for channel members. So the join membership is almost like a raffle ticket price, in my opinion. And there's going to be some great action figures up for grabs that have been on the channel uh, or have been sponsored like this month's giveaway from Diamond Select. So with, with, with that in mind, go ahead and press that join button right now. Everyone that joins will be automatically entered into the giveaway. It's a great reason to join up. And just thank you to everyone that has you know joined so far. Right, guys, with that in mind, let's jump in and uh, take a look at some news. Because, yes, there has been some toy news. So, everyone that has been following me on the live streams recently will know that we've been slowly seeing an introduction from Jack Pacific. 
All right, Mick, thank you very much for that. Mick sent us some photos of how to attach it. Dude, I'll check those out before doing it. Thank you for that. <laughs> so, yeah, everyone that's been following the channel recently will know that we've been looking at the Jack Pacific toys recently because they've been having a bit, a bit of a comeback. And they've done an, an altered beast figure. Um, and they've been slowly working way through, through the arcades. Like they've got a Streets of Rage figure coming out. But we were trying to work out who could be next. What figure could join the lineup? Well, it turns out it's Super Monkey Ball. <laughs> I did not have my money on Super Monkey Ball. I had my money on Golden Axe. I had money on um, comics um, and many other you know, Sega games, but not Super Monkey. <laughs> but he does look awesome. He does kind of look cute. So I'm definitely thinking about grabbing one of these bad boys. So uh, yeah, Jack, Jack, Jack Specific are on a bit of a, a kick right now. Uh, they are slowly bringing back these awesome little Sega toys, uh, and I'm all for it, me. I think these are cool. But yeah, I just I was not expecting that, so it's a weird little announcement. But like I say, I'm all for it. <laughs> Super Monkey Ball. So it's II or AI. Uh, I don't know he's going to say that, but yeah, Monkey Ball. And uh, these are Walmart exclusives, so just bear that in mind, guys. These are exclusive to Walmart, but I'm guessing here in the UK we should get them with our regular online retailers. It comes in a little little ball. Yeah, it's a cute little figure, and he does have his own little banana accessory. Banana. Yeah, I'm all for that. That's a cute little fig. Now, Star Wars. Some Star Wars news. They came out of left field today, didn't they? I don't know where this all came from. But basically, we got, we got some new announcements for Black Series and TVC today. So, first up from the announcements from the TVC line. Sorry, I'm sharing my screen. We got the, the HK87 Assassin Droid announced on, on card back from the Ahsoka series. Again, th this does look pretty awesome. It's nice that he's going to be finally in TVC. So I'm all for that. Then they also gave us another Dark Trooper. We have had Dark Trooper previously on TVC, have we not? Uh, but we are getting a card back version from the Mandalorian. Now, after that, this next one, like I say, came completely out of left field and I was not expecting it. So this is the Star Wars The Last Command, which is based on a comic book around Mara Jade and Luke. And we are getting a four-pack action figure set. And how cool is that set? This looks absolutely stunning. And you know what? This is a Black Series set that I probably will get because I love the comic books. And this is just awesome. <laughs> they've they've edited that Luke smile. They've, they've put that weird smile on Luke, and that is odd. Uh, but yeah, these figures look absolutely cool. Oh, it's, a, it's like a weird grimace that he's doing. Oh, that is creepy with the teeth. Oh, that is creepy. But yeah, that we are getting another Mara Jade now. I, I when I went on a bit of a um, a bit of a anti Hasbro kick for a little while, I I sold off a bunch of my black black series. No, I don't regret it. However, I did get rid of Mara Jade, and I'm glad that she's in this set, because I'll be able to get her back. So, we'll be able to get Mara Jade back. Look, it's just, oh, these are just such a cool set. Yeah, so uh, we've got, we, we got Joris in this set. we got, obviously, uh, Luke Skywalker and Evil Luke as well, with the two U's. Luke. And also, uh, obviously, Mara Jade. Very cool looking set. Cannot wait to own that. We'll be definitely getting it. It's about £100, I believe, and will be available on Amazon, um, as well as Hasbro Pulse, and it will be available from tomorrow on Hasbro Pulse. Um, and then later down the line, it's going to be sold at Disney Store and Disney Parks. <coughs> Here in the UK, we'll probably see it from our uh, retailers as well online. So that's going to be a good set to grab. And that wasn't the only Black Series announcement today. We also got this great um, Star Wars clone trooper phase two and battle droid set <laughs> so you're able to um army build some some clone wars which is cool i like that it's a cool but uh, you know builders pack almost it does depend on the price though i didn't look at the price of that one uh so let's have a quick look uh clone trooper and battle droid 39.99 depending on what it is in the uk if it's about 40 quid in the uk that's not too bad 20 quid a figure wish it was a little bit cheaper 
I'm hoping it will be, but we'll see. Either way, that was some awesome announcements from Star Wars today, and that's the first time I've said that. It's the first time I've, I've, I've actually said I'm excited about a Black Series. Let's catch up with the chat and see what everyone's saying about these announcements so far. A, ta a taxi driver figure uh, with the car would be fire. That would be cool. Shelly, welcome to the chat, my friend. I hope you are well. That Black Series comic line four pack, though. Yeah. <laughs> welcome back, Super Sorrel. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Uh, yeah, no, they have been slowly getting better and better all the time. I'm listening in, but I gotta go feed my horses. You have horses? Ooh, look at you, got horses. No, uh, some of us have just got guinea pigs and hamsters, you know. <laughs> all right, Shelly, no worries. Uh, Andrew said, I need it. I need it. Anti Hasbro kick that lasted three weeks, five days, and four hours, and if anyone is interested. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yep, the Armour Builder Pack. Yeah, they're, they're doing some good announcements at the moment. They are doing some good announcements. Hey, Super, it's VHS. Change my name. No worries, VHS. Hope you're good. Welcome with your new name, GV, GV from NJ201. Very cool. And figure fan, I've always loved the idea of, of making an army of trooper figures, but it would be so expensive. It would. I tried. <laughs> Do you not remember my wall of clone troopers? It got ridiculous. <laughs> and then for a while, I was able to keep... I kept getting my hands on the... Um, I bought a bunch of the black... black star, The dark troopers, were they called? The, the ones from Rogue One. I got a bunch of those. Because I used to use those. I liked using those to flank... Um, Thrawn. I, I liked having the black stormtroopers with Thrawn. Um, and then, who else did I like really go to town on? Oh, when they released those weird silver stormtroopers. Do you remember them? They ended up in like discount bins everywhere. Everywhere, like around all the all the online stores were selling them off dirt cheap. And I had like five or six of the damn things. And I literally used those in nearly every like figure review. like So like figure poses that I did for photography and stuff. Fam, have you seen the Jada Street fighter figs? Oh my god, I wish I could get their hands on the MK license. Do you know what? I wish they would. I really wish they would get their hands on the MK license. Um, because we've got the we've got Bandai who are making the Tekken figures, and they they are they scale with the with the Jacks. Sorry, with the um, Jada Toys Street Fighters. <coughs> so it would would be cool if one of them could make some figures that scale with them. Um, you know, for Mortal Kombat. Even if you know what McFarlane, I believe has has the current license. How coolly would he, how, how coolly how cool would it be if McFarlane just took the initiative and made them to scale with the Street Fighters and the Tekken figures, and then we could literally have an all out like like shelf of just fighters that all scale together. It would be absolutely badass. But yes, I have seen the Jada Street ones, and do you know what? I have three of them to review on the channel. I've got Chun-Li, Ryu, and Evil Ryu so far. Hopefully I should have Ken in hand by the end of the week. And then obviously we've got Bison and Dalsim on pre-order. But it is a line that I am actively collecting because I am enjoying them. Ooh. We need some drink. Yes, the Carbonized Stormies are underrated. Uh, there we go. Now we did touch on this on the Geek Week in Review. But I just wanted to go back and give it a quick overview. Um, and that was the Shield 3 pack. Again, Marvel. I fell out with Hasbro for a little while. But this could bring me back to, to Marvel Legends, as silly as it is. Um, I love my X-Men. And I'll always love my X-Men. But Dum Dum Dugan. I've been wanting a Dum Dum Dugan for years. And I, if you go back on my channel, I've been actively saying for years, please make Dum Dum Dugan. So we are getting, we're finally getting Dum Dum Dugan. But we're also getting... Um, uh, Sharon, uh, sorry, Sharon Carr and uh, Nick Fury with both heads because we've got Nick Fury Senior and Nick Fury Junior. Now, Nick Fury Junior is kind of the character I, I believe is kind of like the the, char the character that we've got in like the MCU played by you know, and then we've got the old old dude version of Nick Fury, and that's the head I want is the old dude version because he's the comic one that I always remember with the eye patch and everything. So I want him with Dum Dum Dugan, and then we've got Sharon Carter as well. That's almost we're almost there to my howling commandos now. 
I've got the Captain America Wolf. I've still kept that one because I love that one. Uh, so we, we are slowly working his way towards the Howling Commandos. Um, so yeah, that's just a set that I, I probably will have to own. <laughs> so stay tuned. I'll see if I end up with that one. Plus that Sharon Carter. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, not not bad at all. I'm looking forward to that one, to be honest. And then, and then, we've not had some Fortnite news in a long time, but there is a two-figure set coming out from Jazzwares from the exclusive Vault Drop coming on the 27th, which is tomorrow. We'll get some new figures, including the Dr. Sloan, and it's a golden version of Dr. Sloan, which is very cool. And we're also going to get Gunner, the Gunner Tempest. And again, he looks pretty cool. I'm not sure what scale these are. They look to be the, the six-inch versions. Uh, so they look pretty, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, like I say, it's been a long time since we've had a sort of figure announcement for Fortnite from Jazzwares. So we'll see what happens with that one. And, that, and, and that's part of the Jazzwares vault drop that's coming tomorrow. Another thing that is coming very, very soon, guys, is NECA's Target Hallathon. It returns on April 12th and will give us some brand new action figures. Friday, uh, it will be um, new products will be available to purchase online every Friday at 8 a.m. CST or 9 a.m. EST. And will include everyone's favorite lines, including the following. Check this out, guys, because this got me excited. They'll be announcing brand new figures for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Predator, Hello Kitty, Disney, Sesame Street, Beetlejuice, NECA, and Kid Robot. I am excited to see what they drop for Beetlejuice and even, even Disney and Sesame Street. And Hello Kitty as well. That's a random one, right? Now, Kid Robot is mentioned, so it could be that the Hello Kitty stuff is Kid Robot, but we'll see. Um, but I'm just excited to see what it is they're going to drop. And, I mean, we know that the Beetlejuice movie is around the corner, so is this going to be new Beetlejuice, or is this going to be based on the original Beetlejuice? Either way, Beetlejuice toys. I know Mick was asking the other day, I wonder if we'll get any Beetlejuice toys. There you go, buddy. We've got some Beetlejuice coming. I'll keep you guys posted on the Holothon as it gets closer to the time and let you know what it is that they're dropping bit by bit. But like I say, Beetlejuice, very interesting. Also, Sesame Street, interesting as well. Um, now, Super 7 did start doing the, the Sesame Street stuff, but it were all 3-inch. Um, I would I would genuinely, I, this is no word of a lie, if somebody made Sesame Street figures, I would definitely grab them. If someone was to make, like, Cookie Monster, Elmo, you know, Big Bird, I would be all over that. Bert and Ernie as well, especially if they had Bert and Ernie with a rubber duck. <laughs> Rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bad times really fun. Rubber ducky, I'm really fond of you. <laughs> my Ernie sounds a lot more. Sorry, my Bert sounds a lot. No, Ernie. My Ernie sounds a lot more like uh, Kermit the Frog, <laughs> but like McFar but like Seth MacFarlane's version of Kermit. <laughs> I don't have any money, <laughs> but I can be a nightmare for people like you. <laughs> But I will hunt you down, I will kill you, and I will find you. <laughs> oh, I'll crack myself up. I'm such a geek. Such a geek. Right, next. Keep moving. Keep on moving. Don't 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 let me stop because I'll start laughing. Ah, the lovely people at Diamond Select, I have to give them a shout out as well, guys, because Diamond Diamond have uh, sent us a little link full of new goodies. And we're going to be seeing Jean Claude Van Damme hitting shop floors this week. So stick around if you have review, if you have um, pre ordered Jean Claude Van Damme, you should be getting an invoice pretty soon. I would have thought it is dropping. He is dropping over the next week or so um, across the UK and things. Uh, so yeah, Jean Claude Van Damme. Um, there's going to be the uh, gallery, gallery Omega Red. The brand new um, Marvel Select Captain America is dropping as well. Um, I think there were, I think Sharpness Prime did a review of that one the other day. So if anyone's interested, check it out. Uh, we've got a Morpheus statue from as well. Uh, but just, just let you guys know, I will be getting Captain America and Jean-Claude Van Damme, hopefully in hand within the next week or two. And uh, I'll be doing the reviews of those courtesy of Diamond Select. So thank you very much, Diamond, for sending them through. 
<laughs> this week, Superstar loses the plot live. That's such a good impression. <laughs> Alice just said you were doing a great, you were doing great as Kermit. <laughs> oh, thank you, Alice. <laughs> Bernie Sorrell versus Ryan Poo. <laughs> Uh, so that, uh, thanks, dude. <clears throat> the one, the one, the one, the one impression that I can do and, I, and that I can do ridiculously well is Gollum from Lord of the Rings. Gollum is one that I practiced for years to get right, and I can still do it to this day. I love doing Gollum. You go, Smolder. But Masters are a friend. But if they're got any friends, no one likes you. Not listening. No, not listening. <laughs> And it's so easy to do the, <laughs> the cough as well. <laughs> uh, the thing is, when you can, the annoying thing is, when you can do voices, you answer yourself back in the voices, and that's when people start leaving you alone in the summer, like in in, in real life. People start cr you know, crossing the road when you're walking down the street, and you go, "Did I forget something?" That's oh, I forgot the fur. Oh crap! <laughs> you're always forgetting things. I know. <laughs> it really freaks people out when you can switch between them as well without you know some people need time to like make, change the vocal cords i can just switch oh that's a hybrid one what the fuck is that <laughs> that was a hybrid of Gollum and smeagol <laughs> oh i'm gonna stop now <laughs> this toy news is going to bankrupt me me too dude me too it really is Seems I only like expensive hobbies. Horses, Lego, action figures. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And according to the photo, meeting Dan Who. When did that happen? When did you meet Mr. Who? And why is it your why is it your main photo, Shelley? That's sacrilege in my in my domain. <laughs> I will travel down and take a photo with you. <laughs> run, run, Shelley, run. <laughs> Oh dear me! <laughs> I have a pre-order for chocolate and with peanut. Nice one, dude. nice one. It should be with you in the next couple of days. I would have thought maybe over the next week. Um, it's hit America, so it should be hitting our floors very soon, according to Diamond. Um, really, Michi's high maintenance. I can do a Mickey. I wish I could hear it, figure man. I really do. Mickey, I can. The only Mickey I can do is like the Mickey that was on South Park. <laughs> <laughs> we all go a little mad sometimes. Mezco Doc Ock. Nice. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, coffee down the background. Yeah, um, the Mezco Doc Ock does, does look really good. I can imagine Sorrel walking down the street and just hearing Sorrel arguing with himself. <laughs> right, let's jump in with the first action figure. We'll start with Lurtz. We'll start with Lurtz. First action figure of the day, guys. Diamond selects alerts. Um, like I say, I was really, really happy when I got these in hand. The lovely people at Diamond have been keeping us supplied most of this year with some great products. Where are my scissors gone? Ah, oh, Super Solid Junior moved them. One sec. I got him. Yeah, the lovely people at Diamond Select have been very kind with me and sending some great figures through this year. Um, so... Big courtesy to them. Big, big props to them. Shall I start being like Bevo on TikTok and start bigging up? Big up Diamond Selects. <laughs> big up the Lord of the Rings. Big up the Lurts. Big up the Goblins. <laughs> uh, if nobody watches TikTok and has no clue who Bevo is, please treat yourself. He's the weirdest human being on the planet. And that's coming from me. How is that not opening yet? What have I missed? I missed some tape, and I missed more tape. And he's free! So we have the kick-ass bow. That is nice, with a little string on it and everything. Boom, boom, boom. That is a nice pouch as well. And the big... Oh, he's nice big cleaver. The figure's nice as well. Like I said, don't worry, I will do a video tomorrow where I show them off on camera as well because I know that my cam here is not the best. A nice shield as well. 
And we've got some arrows. Does he have a quiver to put them in, though? Everyone... I seem to have, like, loads of loose arrows from figures recently. And they don't seem to want to give us a quiver to put them all in. Liz doesn't have a quiver. No, he doesn't. He does in the film, though. Ah, you can pop him in the... Sorry, I, I've got to attach it. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. Guys, you know the drill. Get ready with the uh, in the in the comments with the uh, hashtag yeet for our, or everyone else that hasn't got the special special emojis can use hashtag yeet in five four three two one. We don't collect boxes in this household, so we give them a yeet. See ya, box. That's box number one. <laughs> All the yeets in the comments. <laughs> Oh, here we go, look, here we go. I met Dan at ID Toys event in the shop of February. Ah, okie dokie. Ah. I don't know why I pretend like there's a rivalry between me and Dan, because the guy's alright. <laughs> I've, I've been chatting with him quite a bit on uh, Instagram. He's alright, dude. We just need to tie some time together to do any form of collab. Because I did a panel on my channel recently, if you guys remember. I did a panel on my <coughs> on my channel uh, asking you guys to vote. And unanimously, most people voted for me to do a collab. Because I, I said, like, who do you want me to collab with? You know, or name a YouTuber. And I put up, like, Dave. You know, Dave, Dave Displays Model Behavior. I put up Dan Who. I put Sharmas Prime. Uh, Kyle Peterson. Robbo. And people unanimously voted for Dan Who, more or less. So I'm going to send him it in a bit. <laughs> ah, uh, we've, we've got so we've, we had all the yeets in the comments. Yeet, 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 yeet. My other expensive holiday is uh, hobby is holidaying in Orlando. Yeah, me too. It's an expensive hobby that one. Even wet boys in the comments. Good evening, wet boy. Yeet, yeet. Uh, he has me. It's the the quiver belt that goes on. Have a look at how I should um, at how he should have it on. I wouldn't go through that on the live. Lovely. Slicks are rocking the heats on a Tuesday night. Triple G's with us in the comments. Good evening, Triple G. Hope you're good. ID Toys have just purchased a collection of Lord of the Rings figures, uh, which look very tempting, but probably very expensive. Are they the old Toy Biz ones? Some of them are expensive. Some of them are, are reasonable. In the Toy Biz ones, <coughs> which depends on the figure that you want. Like the, Naz, the Nazgul, the, um, the Wraiths. They're quite expensive because um, I tried grabbing some recently to go because I was I want to see how they're scaled with diamond because um, Frodo's quite short so I was hoping that the Nazgul I might get away with using some Toy Biz ones but um, yeah there's no there's no chance uh, so we've got Lurts and he does have an alternate head sculpt as well so we've got the first head sculpt which is just the sort of standard growly face and if I just give the head a little Tug. Ugh. Normally, I only give it a tug when the when lights go down. <laughs> I'm going to try and see if I can get that to go over. Nope. Nope. I'm going to break that. Nope. I'm going to break it. <laughs> I'll look at Mick's video there. I'll do that one off camera and look at Mick's vid. And then we've got the alternate sort of head, which is the more growling pronounced head. I do actually like the more growling -y one. <laughs> they're, they're both both heads are pretty good. I kind of feel like buying us like going out there and buying a second Lurtz so that I could repaint this head and just have him as a regular Urukai. <coughs> Where did you find the Lord of the Rings figs? Um, I I didn't. Um, these were sent to me by Diamond Select. If you're referring to me, uh, these were sent by Diamond, and like I said, uh, Diamond Select have been very kind this year into what they've been sending. But they have sent a bunch of stuff over to me and uh, and Jacob's Toys, and they've been very kind with us. Really, it is a really, it's really quality looking fig. Plenty of articulation on it, which I'll go through in a second. Uh, actually, this is a family show. <laughs> Uh, 2029, and you had no, that wasn't for me, or Shelly. <laughs> oh, no, he's gone blue, and he's gone blue. <laughs> Bit of blue for the dance. Bit of blue for the dance. 
<laughs> I didn't think anyone would even pick up on that. I sort of said it so quickly under my breath. I didn't think people would actually hear me. But then again, I've got a microphone attached to my head. So there you go. That's how stupid I am. So here is the thing. This is his face. That's an Ebenezer Middledorf. <laughs> For you, that's from another YouTuber and he's mental. Um, right. Anyway, head sculpt. So you can't really look up and down that too much. It's kind of the hairpiece does stop any form of movement. Um, there's no real hinge there to make him look forward either, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, the arm lift up at the side, though, and does rotate with a single hinged elbow that moves pretty well on its own and does have rotation on it. Hands as well are on nice uh, nice joints as well that move pretty well. Eh, just round around. Do they twist? Oh, actually, no. They're just, sorry, they're just rounded ones, aren't they? Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> he's going to do his job though, he's, he's an Urukai, he just needs to be able to swing that big cleaver. Uh, we've got a bit of a crunch going on here, which is nice. Um, we, that's his, that, that's kind of his swivel as well then. Legs lift out quite far, all the way to the side. Uh, as well as forwards, backwards, top thigh cut on there. There is a single hinged knee, no rotation though. And uh, the feet are on rocker and pivot, and there are display bay goals. Should you wish to use a display base, not that you're going to need to. He stands pretty well on his own. He does come with his big, awesome meat cleaver sword. So I'm going to pop, pop that into his hand. That is no all corn. So yeah, we've got the nice big meat cleaver. And he comes with his awesome shield as well. And do you know what? They have actually designed... Because like, they could have just left the inside plain, but they didn't. They went ahead and added all the buckles and pieces to it. So that's nice as well. Can we add it like they're meant to hold it in the film? There's no alternate hand to put with it. Sorry, let me have a little, another little go on this. I might not be able to do this on cam tonight, guys. We might have to do this tomorrow when I've heated his hand up. Yeah, I'm going to have to do this off cam. That's a shame. I'm going to have to heat that one up to try and get that, that in. Because I want to put the actual... I want to put the thing on properly because he's meant to hold it that way. So I want to be able to put the hand into the thing and do it properly. Because obviously then you want to be able to do that, like in the movie. Because obviously they use these prongs to stab. So you want to you get that set up properly. So yeah, like I say, I'll do that off the cam. But yeah, he's got his big... And he's got his really cool bow as well. Which we will see him use later. Once we've got Boromir out of the box. But no, that is... Like I say, that is a very nice fig. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. Is Lurz the one who kills Boromir? Yes, he is. Lurz is the one that murders Boromir. He's like the captain of that of that uh, of that group of Urukai. <laughs> I think Ash is high on Haribo. Ash has had no Haribo. Ash has had no Haribo today. Ash is a sad boy. I wish I had Haribo. Although no one's commented on the new toys behind me yet. I've done a, I've done a, I've done a Hasbro. I've put, I've put new things behind me and see if anyone notices. <laughs> the little random thing, but I'm surprised they haven't uh, made many Harry Potter things. Me too. I've, me and Jacob had a whole discussion about this, you know. <coughs> and we, I would love a line of Harry, of uh, Harry Potter things. I nearly said a line of Harry Bow then. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Haribo belongs to Naomi now, not Pony. Get off my Haribo, Mick. <laughs> is that a Star Wars adorable? Yes, it is. And you know what? They're expensive for what they are. So normally, see that this big pack here? That that's the goof troop one. I thought the toys behind you were a teapot. Um, the uh, the Dorables set behind me, the big one, that is the goofy the goofy movie one, and they normally run at like um, they they normally run at like between twelve and fifteen pounds, and they've got like eight figures in them. This is the new version of that for the Star Wars collection. That is the Galaxy Peak, which is the fifteen pound one, and it only has four figures in it. 
There's only four figures in them ones. So because it's Star Wars, they've lowered the amount of figures per set, but upped the price. Woo! So, yeah. And then we've got the... I've got a Donatello Easter Funko there as well uh, to show you guys. So that, that is my little haul for Easter. But I do have a few other things that are going to be arriving over the coming days, and I'll be putting that video out probably Friday or Saturday. We took the Haribo factory, next we'll take the shop. Get off the shop. That shop's amazing. I love that shop. <clears throat> the Funko is Donatello from the um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and he's like half in like foil and half chocolate. It's, uh, he's meant to look like an Easter egg, basically. <laughs> right, let's get Boromir out of the packaging before we run out of time tonight. So we have Boromir... Sean Bean himself. One does not just snip open packaging with scissors. One does not just clip my rope ties. One does not just open my box. Yeah, I'll stop that now. <laughs> right, let's get all the little... Need to open that. What is going on? Where's that? There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Tape. More tape. And more tape. And final tape. We've got all the tape. And now we've got to get the rope ties. Rope ties. Rope ties. Rope ties. Well, everything just went flying. <laughs> that, that, that went well. Oh, his helmet and flying. Uh, shield, dagger, dagger sheath, sword, hands. Awesome. Oh no, it's solid plastic. <clears throat> it's uh, it's one of those diamond selects that have got a skirt piece on it, so it's like it's made of solid plastic. So you're gonna struggle to get him in any form of pose. Oh, sorry, I nearly, I nearly did this without the yeet, then didn't I? Right, sorry guys, we'll, 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 we'll do that again. I don't collect boxes in this household. What, what, what we do do is though, we give him a five, four, three, two, one, yeet! <laughs> but yes. This is the uh, Diamond Select version, which, God, this is what I don't like about the Diamond stuff. They've got, like, this is solid plastic cape, and he's got a solid plastic skirt piece on the bottom. So you can't get him to do anything but stand still. Like, I was hoping it wasn't going to be like that. I was hoping it was going to be, like, cloth, because I would love to have him knelt down in front of Lurt to do the final <laughs> club that he does in the film. So we kind of we kind of are stuck with Boromir just standing. Ugh. It is where it is. Um, same articulation though, some nice articulation to it for what it is. Uh, like I say, that cape can come off as well. It does come off pretty easily, but you're not going to be able to make him sit or do anything. Like you can't even get him in the meme pose with you know to do on the camera. Ah, uh, but either way, it's still it's still a solid looking figure. The actual likeness is probably the best. Likeness I've seen for Sean Bean. <laughs> anyway, anyone expect to hear Mrs. Super Sorrel just to shout and pick your own boxes up? <laughs> but yeah, he's it's still a nice figure. He's got his shield as well, which is nice. And he's got his sword in, with its sheath. Shing! Very nice looking sword. And we get his, uh, we get his horn. That is no orc horn. Run, Frodo, run! So that's cool. We get the, uh, we get the horn. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Uh, we do get his dagger as well, which also comes with a sheath. I'm surprised I'm not laughing at the word sheath, to be fair. Although, is that broke off something? Is that broke off? I don't know. Should that have come off? What is that? No, it's not. A sh it's not that. I thought that was the sheath for the knife, but it's not, is it? No, that's its own piece of something. 
Does that come off of something? Have I broke off something? Where's that come from? I don't know where that's come from. I feel like it's fell off something. It's just a random piece. Because I did kind of drop him out of the box, to be fair. So I'm not sure if that's meant to have been a part of something. I don't know. We'll figure that out in a bit. Anyone know what that is? <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, plenty of, uh, again, plenty of uh, stuff to be playing with on that one. I like that. It's the horn I like more than anything. That horn's really got some nice detailing to it. And of course he gets two two hands as well, because he's got his gloved hands as well as his uh, regular hands. So that's cool. <laughs> he's gone on, he's gone on. Uh, Saf, uh, finally have the Scarlet in. Yay, still waiting on Captain Carrot now. I haven't, need, I, I haven't even got a Captain Carrot yet. I still need one. Love how Sorrel says movie quotes every once in a while. <coughs> oh, that's right. He has a sheath that doesn't actually work as a sheath. Is that what that's meant to be? Is that meant to be the dagger sheath, that, but they can't really do it with it? Is that what that is? He's pulled his sheath off on a live stream. <laughs> um, it's not me. It's a sheath that doesn't act, that doesn't attach to Boromir. But also doesn't have a hole for the dagger. That's random. Sheath and a glove and gloved hands when the jokes make themselves. Oh you guys are worse than me. <laughs> but either way, it's still a nice thing. I will be I think I will be changing over his hands to the gloved ones though, I think. <coughs> Just to go because I, I, I would I can't wait to I until I've got all the fellowship together. That'll be the, the day when I'm I'll be really happy when I've got once we get the next two hobbits. And we can unite the entire fellowship. That'll be cool. See if I can get the sword in the hand. Urgh, without warming up. There we go. Yeah. So I've got his sword in hand. Can we get his shield? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Happy days. Happy days. Honestly, I'd love to watch you try and put that quiver on Lurz. It doesn't stretch. And and he has that. Go. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that off camera, dude. I'm gonna do that one off camera. <coughs> it's gonna I'm gonna have to warm it up, I think, to do it. I was starting to I tried to do it, but it started to get start, start to get like um plastic stretch marks, like white marks on it. Uh, so I don't wanna I don't I don't wanna break it on day one, so hopefully I'll do that one off camera and warm it up and it should should get on there. Yes, they've done Gollum. I've got a review of Gollum on my channel. So far, I've reviewed Gollum, Gandalf, Frodo, Sam, and Saruman. They're the five I've done so far. <coughs> I think Miss Soup, uh, I think Mrs. Soupsarl is going to be in some trouble tonight. Oh dear, <laughs> Shelley. <laughs> I boiled the quiver, but it doesn't give much. Oh, no, don't say that to me. So I expect an update tomorrow, Mick, of me crying because I ripped it. <laughs> but no, guys, we've done both figures. So there is Boromir and Lurtz reunited. <laughs> both very cool figs. Can't wait to add them to my shelf, especially Lurtz. He fits in with my sort of aesthetic of toys very well. Uh, but no, I am. Uh, I'm very excited. It's the Easter bank holiday uh, weekend coming up. I've got plenty of content coming out at the moment. I'm catching up with my backlog basically. So I've been putting out a lot of videos recently. I hope I haven't been annoying you all uh, with the amount of content I've been putting out. Uh, but it's not over yet. We've still got um, the Street Fighter figures, the Tekken figures. Um, and I do have a bunch of stuff already filmed for you. My library of stuff that's coming out is ridiculous. Um, looking at my videos this week, just to give you guys a little bit of a preview that are with us in the chat. Uh, I've got the rest of the Monday Night Wars Elite figures. They're all reviewed and on the channel ready to go. Um, the NECA Halloween 2 Ultimate Michael Myers and Dr. Loomis 2-pack. That'll be out as well. Uh, that's out tomorrow, actually. 
Uh, I've also reviewed the Fire and Ice Dark Wolf from the Frazetta Icon Collectible Series. That comes out on the 28th. And then we've got all the Piñata Sm Smashlings videos for anyone that's interested in those. I've put those for Easter because they kind of fit in with the whole, you know, Easter bunny and all that kind of stuff. They're all, they're all like little eggs and stuff. So I've, I've opened all those over the Easter bank holiday. But I'll be, I'll be posting those videos at midnight and I'll still post another video later on in the day because I know them Piñata Smashlings videos aren't for everyone. So I'll still put an action figure review out each and every single day hopefully by the end of bank holiday i should be bang up to date so we're going into the month of april with a fresh slate a clean slate ready to uh ready to review some new figures and ready to move forward with some new styles of content because let's face it action figure reviews so many people do them so many people make them and it's it's not something i uh, i enjoy making all the time i've got a lot of other content that i want to do so be prepared for some new videos in april it's going to be fun all toy stuff of course of course we're still talking toys but just new things <laughs> guys <laughs> But no, it's been, a, it's been a fun night. I've enjoyed unboxing those for you guys, and I've enjoyed um, talking toy news with you all. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it too. Plenty more content coming up on the channel, like I say, over the coming days for you to get stuck into. And so much more just around the corner. So, with that in mind, I'm going to head out. But thank you very much, guys, for tuning in. Thank you to all the channel members. Like I say, don't forget, tonight is the best time to join. Because we do have the members only giveaway coming up this Friday. If you join tonight, tonight or tomorrow, uh, you, so you've got until Friday morning basically. But if you uh, if you if you join, uh, you know tonight or Wednesday or Thursday, you'll be automatically entered into that members only giveaway. I'll be drawing it Friday morning at about 9 a.m. Video will be out very very shortly after uh, for everyone to watch on the members. But yeah, you've got to be a member to enter. So join that members club. And there's some other awesome perks that you can check out while you're there. Just hit the join button down below. Guys, with that in mind, I'm going to see you all very, very soon. Thank you very much for tuning in. As always, I'm your host, Soup Sorrel, and I'll see you in the next video. But until then, may the force be with you.